Greetings from the Point of Peace Summit in this year's cultural capital of Europe, Stavanger, Norway. A measure of a civilized society is how it treats its most vulnerable. How can we, in our global village, call ourselves developed and ignore the insufferably difficult conditions of billions of people? Is our humanity developed or only our capacity to manipulate nature to satisfy our personal appetites? The effects of the applications of science and technology on the living systems of the earth cannot be ignored. The poor suffer most from diminished ecological viability. The Millennium Development Goals constitute the convergence of a moral and practical necessity. They represent a necessary foundation if we are to survive as a civilized community. And for many, if not for all of us, if we are to survive at all. At this summit, some of the world's best minds and hearts have gathered to discuss today's great challenges with particular reference to the meeting of the Millennium Development Goals. The UN Millennium Development Goals was a big achievement, approved by all the nations in the world. And therefore, it's also a commitment for all the nations of the world to the benefit of our children and grandchildren and coming generations. I'm thinking of, of millions of people who don't have access to clean water. We know what problems that makes. I'm thinking of all the babies who die the first weeks. That's Millennium Development Goal number four, to reduce that number substantially. I'm thinking of mothers dying when they deliver. And that's uh, a goal to reduce that number, and that is UN Millennium Development Goal number five. I'm thinking of still one billion people living in extreme poverty. And we have the means to reduce that number substantially, bring people out of poverty. And it's a moral obligation for us to reach that UN Millennium Development Goal and also the seven others. If we can do that within 2015, which is our goal, the first step, we will make better equality, make better living conditions for poor and for oppressed people all over the world. And then after that, we have to take new steps. We have the resources in the world to make good living conditions for everybody. It's a moral duty to do that. Let us not uh, make a mistake. Let us fulfill our commitments. And I encourage all of us to do our utmost. Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'm privileged to be speaking to you on an issue which I think concerns the very future of humanity. It's indeed heartening that the UN adopted the Millennium Development Goals. I think we really need to look at every sector of the economy and find ways by which we can adopt technologies and practices by which we can reduce the emissions of greenhouse gases. Or else, whatever progress we made with the Millennium Development Goals will be washed out by the impacts of climate change. So may I appeal to you to ensure that every society across the globe follows a path that results in the lowest levels of emissions of greenhouse gases and by 2015 actually starts reducing them in the aggregate. And if we were to do that, then certainly we would be able to reach the Millennium Development Goals and bring about a higher level of welfare for some of the most underprivileged societies in the world today. I think the declaration on the Millennium Development Goals was one of the proudest moments in the history of the United Nations. We were able to assemble all world leaders on one place at the same time and we had them solemnly swear to do something collectively which is a generational task but do it in 
half a generation's time, namely eradicate the abject poverty that is among us. The Millennium Development Goal is one of the most powerful things that the United Nations has launched. It has caught the imagination of community organizers all over the world, and it has held the rich and the powerful accountable to the poorest and the most vulnerable. This is the time to finish the marathon. We're, we're lagging behind, but we may still do it. So let's do the final effort now and in the years leading up to the finishing line, 2015. <laughs>